Uh, we're kind of winning in the weather department and from Mother Nature. Uh, clouds continue to clear today. You can see from our Fort Worth sky cam, they've cleared on out. Uh, cold front moves in tomorrow, so we'll see some clouds in the morning, giving way to more sunshine again tomorrow afternoon. Cool weather for your weekend. This is a weekend to maybe head uh, to the Botanical Gardens, to the Arboretum, get those fall pictures in. It's going to be really nice. And we have the annual solar eclipse on Saturday morning for you, uh, so it's going to be pretty interesting to see, and Mother Nature providing a great forecast for that. 82 tomorrow, even though the front's moving through, the cold air is kind of lagging behind it. But then on Saturday, our high 74. It's going to be a breezy three day forecast. Winds will be out of the north, northwest at 10 to 20 on Saturday. Sunday, 71 degrees. So beautiful fall weather. You can see our time lapse from our da Dallas City Cam shows the cloud cover this morning now giving way to more sunshine. Clouds have been clearing from west to east. You see that on the visible satellite and radar combined, our first alert visible satellite and radar, uh, the cloud cover still through parts of Dallas County, but the west sides of North Texas, we've seen that cloud cover clear out and you can see the difference in temperatures. Right now it's 92 in Graham and Breckenridge, 91 in Mineral Wells, but where the cloud cover has been sticking around, we're in the low 70s in Greenville to 71 in Terrell to 72 right now in Mineola and possibly remaining in the 70s the remainder of the afternoon. So at DFW, at the official reporting station, we're at 80 degrees with our winds out of the south at 17, gusting up to 32 miles per hour. That's the story across the Metroplex. East side 70s, west sides low 80s to Bridgeport at 88 degrees. So interesting uh, because of the cloud cover that's in place. As we go through the remainder of the uh, evening hours. You can see windy conditions, 5, 6 o'clock. We'll see 79 degrees by 8, by 9, about 77 degrees. And the first alert future cast picks up on the front, moving in. I think by the time we go to sunrise, it's in the northwest sides of North Texas tomorrow. By mid morning, moving through the Metroplex, sliding its way down to the southeast. And there's small rain chances in our southeast counties. At a whopping 10% chance. <laughs> Tomorrow we see temperatures again into the low 80s. Uh, but look at this. It's interesting where the front takes its time to move through. It'll be in the mid 80s for highs down to the southeast, but only the mid 70s to the northwest. It's called a temperature gradient. Really cool uh, to talk about. And you know what? We're not going to be seeing a whole lot of rain with it, and we could use some. But you can see that the drought index changed. This was last week before that rain we saw midweek last week. We saw some improvement, but we're still dealing with extreme drought in parts of the Metroplex and parts of North Texas. Your first alert seven day forecast shows really no rain all the way until next Thursday. We'll see 70 Monday. Look at these morning temperatures in the upper 40s. Then by next Thursday, we have some small rain chances as another front. It's going to move through.